Welcome back to the channel. What we have right here is the brand new Garmin Lily, which is a smartwatch developed by Garmin, bringing all of the same traditional Garmin health tracking and also offering a new and very different aesthetic. And this one, I think, is going to really resonate with the more female crowd. As you can see, it has a really nice uh, patterned glass in the front. Overall, a really, really nice looking watch and a substantially smaller body than a lot of other watches out there. So this is really gonna look great on a smaller wrist, which is why I say, in general, it's probably going to be more of a woman's watch. Of course, men could wear this if you wanted to, I don't judge, uh, but all things considered, this is a watch that has some great female, tra female cycle tracking on there, obviously a lot of great health tracking, we'll talk about tons of great features, and a very, really the highlight is the small, compact, and very aesthetic design. Okay, so let's start off with that, the design of this watch. As you can see on the front, like I said, it's a 34 millimeter watch, uh, so way, way smaller than most others, which have like 42, 45, 46 millimeter bodies, way, way larger watches out there. And so this one, it's kind of nice to see it in such a small, light design. Honestly, I mean, if it didn't look so incredibly small on my wrist, I would even consider wearing this just because of how light it is. Uh, you can see that it has a patterned glass on the front through several different designs, and I'll show you guys on the screen here. But this one has a really nice gold bezel around there. It is Gorilla Glass in the front, so it is pretty durable as well. And there are two different variations of this. They're really the same watch, but there's a sport one and there's like a luxury one. The only difference besides $50 is that the more luxury one is going to come with a leather band, a genuine leather band versus the silicone strap you're getting with the sport version. Uh, and replacing the strap, is possible, but it's really, there's no quick release, so it's not super convenient. So I would definitely urge you to consider before buying one, uh, if you're going to be wearing this more when you're working out, or if you don't really plan on working out with it. Now, with that being said, this is kind of an aluminum and polymer design. So overall, pretty durable, water resistant up to 50 meters. And on the front, you can see that we have really no buttons anywhere on this watch. No speakers, no microphones. It's a really simple design that kind of reminds me of the Garmin VivoMove style. If you guys remember, that was one of my favorite hybrid watches for a while. And so this actually only has a, a monochrome display. So it only shows you uh, like white. And so this one only showing white right here behind that glass, it is actually really easy to see. You think that the pattern would maybe be distracting, but honestly it's not. So I'm gonna get into an interface tour in a second, but let's talk about some of the features that this actually has. So it doesn't have GPS on here and there's no music storage, but other than that, if we flip it over to the back, you'll see that we do have a heart rate sensor there. Uh, we do have SpO2 tracking, so you can really utilize the accelerometer and those sensors to track a lot of your health, even if your phone is not connected. If your phone is connected, you can use connected GPS uh, and that's going to be tracking your runs that way. But like I said, it'll just use the accelerometer and estimate how far you went based on your custom stride length if your phone's not connected. Now, like I said, the display in here is pretty easy to see. It's very bright, it's easy to read, uh, good detail in all the numbers and the letters and everything. So I think the display, honestly, they did a good job. It is a touch screen, so any kind of interactions will do. It's generally just swiping left, right, or up and down. On the bottom, you have a circle that it's not a button, but it's like a capacitive touch sensor. It's really just like the rest of the touch screen. And so that's going to be your home button, your back button. And so talking about some of the other features you'll see on this watch, we have high heart rate alerts, low heart rate alerts, uh, real-time continuous heart rate monitoring 24 seven, sleep tracking, idle alerts, do not disturb mode when you're sleeping, that's scheduled in if you want it to be. Uh, you have auto fitness detection, custom stride calibration, uh, and a ton of other stuff like that in the app that really allows you to track and, and really customize this to exactly your needs. This also has 13 different workouts that you can track, and you can put seven from the app over onto the watch. Uh, and of course, the seven workouts you choose, uh, you can change them anytime you want very easily within the app. And so you're not really limited to seven, just seven when your phone's disconnected, basically. Uh, there's also some other things. So you have quick replies, but that only works on Android. So if you have an iPhone, obviously you're a little bit left out there. Unfortunately, this watch does not have NFC for Garmin Pay. Uh, I would like to see it on here, but it is what it is. It does have some other cool features. This has an SOS emergency contact feature uh, where you can send an SOS to somebody from the watch. And essentially it's going to just send a text to whoever your contact is, let them know you're in trouble so that you can get help as quickly as possible. There is no always on display, but of course you have that patterned glass on the front. So it really is pretty much an accessory just by itself. And so that's pretty much everything to look at on the outside of this watch. Let's actually get into an interface tour and you guys will start to see some of the features that this watch actually has. So let's take a look at the interface right now. Starting off on the watch face, uh, you actually can customize the watch face just by tapping on it and you can see your heart rate, 
your body battery, your calories, all kinds of different stuff like that. Or we can actually just change the watch face as I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, looking at another thing actually is the brightness of the display. It is really easy to see unless you like really tilt it into some weird glare like right there. But in most situations, I have no problem seeing that. We can then swipe left or right across the screen to go through a series of widgets. So this the first one is going to be my day uh, with my steps and things of that nature. Similarly, the heart rate stats right here. So your stress level, your body battery, and you can tap on any one of them. So for example, stress level, we'll go in and read the stress right now, or I can tap on it again and go into a breathing exercise. If we tap on the bottom button, I said this was your back button or your home button. In this case, it is our back button and we can continue swiping through. And so right now, I'll show you guys in the app in a second how to actually customize these, but right now I have pretty much every widget I could find on here just to show you guys all of them. But you saw the calendar, the weather, my step count, body battery, uh, all kinds of different stuff on here, the heart rate, um, notifications, your, your breath count right now, or your breath rate, and all kinds of stuff like that. The last one is going to be uh, the music controls. Although this doesn't actually have music on here, you can control the music on your phone uh, using this device. And that brings us back to the watch face here. And so those are all the widgets. I usually wouldn't recommend keeping nearly that many because it does take a while to cycle through them, but keeping five or six is really convenient. If we swipe down from the top, we have some really cool quick settings here. So we have music controls, we have notifications, we can find my phone, uh, so my phone will beep. We can set an alarm, go to do not disturb or night mode, and of course we can go to an SOS, which is going to send a text to whoever my SOS contact is. Now from the watch face, we can tap on the little home button on the bottom, and it brings us into a series of apps. We can go and check out activities, and like I said, the seven that we have on here are going to show up, so we can go for a run, uh, cardio is just a generic one, strength, interval training, all kinds of stuff like that or we can hit the back button and look at some of the other apps. Watch faces, you can tap on this and change them. And of course, a lot of them, because this is a monochrome display, there's not gonna be a whole lot of variation, but there's a different amount of information they can show in a different style, different fonts. So I think Garmin did a pretty good job of showing a couple different ways they could actually appear. We can tap on the little button again to go back to the apps and check out clocks, which is going to be uh, essentially just timers, alarms, and a stopwatch. We could also go to settings and then that brings us back to uh, activities. But going into settings here, we have even more stuff. So we can set hydration alerts. Uh, we can go and check out our VO2 max. We can look at our heart rate settings. We can find our phone or, or make sure the phone is paired correctly. We can go to system settings. We can see about, and that's pretty much it. If we go to system settings, there's not a whole lot here other than brightness, uh, the vibration, um, and of course, how long it takes for the screen to time out. And of course, there we have a notification. When you tap on it, you can delete it, or you can tap on the right side and actually have a, a quick reply as you see right here. I'm not gonna send a quick reply at the minute, um, but going back to those settings, you can go down and you see a, a lot of other stuff there as well. Okay, so I wanna give you a quick tour of the app. This is the Garmin Connect app where you're gonna be controlling settings for your watch and getting any kind of health analytics here. So you can see the heart rate is going to give you real-time information, the real-time heart rate. You can tap on that and see a oh, seven day, four week, one year, whatever timeline you wanna see for your heart rate to see if you're generally trending lower or higher than normal. And probably easier than that is just to look at the body battery below that, which honestly does a pretty good job. It's a Garmin specific index that is going to reflect how energized you probably feel right now. It could do things such as reflect uh, when you might be getting sick, when you didn't sleep well, when you're exercising less than usual. Like a lot of stuff goes into this and it does a really good job honestly of reflecting how I feel at different times of the day and in different situations. You have your step count here, your calories, uh, your breath, you know, your respiration, of course, which again, could also be used to uh, indicate your health, your current standing. And if we go up on the top to uh, the, the watch, and so here we can change some pretty fundamental things. The first thing is the appearance. And so the first thing glances is essentially what widgets are gonna be shown as you saw in the interface tour. We have all the widgets there right now, uh, except for female cycle tracking is, is not shown here because it knows that I'm a male and it automatically doesn't allow me to activate that in the app. But if I said I was a female uh, in the Garmin app, then it would show up and allow me to do that. We also have display options for how long it's going to be displayed uh, and if we want the wrist gesture on or off. Going down, we have alerts, and this could be things such as a high heart rate alert, um, if you see that right here, abnormal heart rate, or a low heart rate alert for that matter, and you can set the threshold for that. You have move alerts if, you, if you're sitting around for too long. 
uh, alarms, you can have smart notifications, all kinds of different things for alerts just to kind of use the information without you having to look at it and just kind of remind you of different things, different situations. Activity options, as I said, we have seven. You can choose out of the, I believe, 13 total. And then of course we can go down to general and this is going to be some pretty basic stuff like uh, how you want things to be displayed. But that's everything really that you'd be customizing within the app. Okay, so overall the Garmin Lily, I think a lot of you could agree is a really nice looking device. And being that it's made by Garmin, it delivers a lot of that health tracking functionality that I really wanted to see on here. So I was very excited by all of that. Of course, the compact design and the really lightweight design as well make this fantastic for any kind of workout. You're really gonna forget it's even on your wrist uh, other than the fact that it, it just looks really nice and you're probably gonna get compliments with it on your wrist. Uh, some things were not so great with this though. There's a couple of things that had me kind of I, I wish they were improved. One of them is just getting this to turn on. So you can double tap it uh, and it does usually turn on, but sometimes that's a little bit tricky. Uh, so I had problems with that when I was using this and I had some other females uh, wear this as well and they gave me the same feedback uh, that double tapping that is sometimes inconsistent. Of course, the other way to wake this up is to tilt to wake. So it's on your wrist, you flick your wrist up. And again, not the most consistent here, but once you get used to how to do this, you kind of have to flick your wrist up in a very specific and quick way, then I had no problems with it at all. And so that's a little bit of a learning curve there. It's something that I wish, again, having a physical button is usually beneficial for that type of purpose, but it's something that I'm sure Garmin will uh, kind of resolve over time with more updates. On top of that, it doesn't really pair with other devices. So heart rate straps, if you wanna do that, or maybe like a, a treadmill, a lot of other peripheral devices don't play nicely with this. So that's a little bit of a drawback. Again, something that I think very few people would probably be doing, uh, but I don't know. I'm sure there's some people that would wanna have a heart rate strap with this. Uh, the accuracy on the heart rate strap, like I said, or the accuracy on the heart rate sensor on here rather, like I said, was pretty accurate. Garmin's really good at that stuff. That's kind of their bread and butter with wearables is tracking fitness. And I was really happy to see that this is no exception. So overall, the Garmin Lily, I feel like I really don't need to make a conclusion here. I, I feel like it's very likely that you're in one of two categories right now. Either you watch this whole video and you absolutely loved the way it looked, you really liked the features that it had. And as I said, all of the features are really well executed on here and it's gonna be a great buy. I don't think you'll regret buying it. Or the second category is you watch this whole video and you thought, what do you mean? It doesn't have onboard music storage. It doesn't have GPS. And in that situation, you're probably looking for something a little bit more functional. And if that's the case, then maybe something like the Garmin Venue SQ would be the perfect watch for you, or maybe the Apple Watch SE. And both of those are gonna be selling at a similar-ish price to this one. So you guys can leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the Garmin Lily. Is this a watch that you'll be buying or is this one that you're gonna pass up and wait for something else. What do you like and what do you not like about this? Leave a comment below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Mike O'Brien. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.